What do you do with someone who values Christ above all else? Who will die to self and take up their cross daily and follow him? Who will count the cost and then say, yes, it's worth it. Unfortunately, our adversary has figured out an answer. What you do is you give them praise, positions, and possessions. Allow them to be comfortable and at ease. Don't persecute them and let generations of them grow up never having experienced persecution. Allow them to believe that persecution is foreign to the Christian life. Keep them away from the history of the church that would otherwise teach them that their experience is what's foreign to the Christian life and that persecution is what's common. By all means, do not let them know that there have been more people killed for their faith in the last 150 years than in the first 2,000 years the church. And then once they are at ease, once they are comfortable, once they have praise, possessions, and positions, and once suffering has become foreign to their faith, we won't have to threaten them much at all. And they'll shut their mouths and do whatever we tell them they must do to hold on to their comfort. And unfortunately, brothers and sisters, that's where 